Hello, welcome to the Costa Rica Travel Channel. I'm D'Angelo. And I'm Michael Allen. Usually we do some travel tips. This isn't so much a tip, as it's a recommendation. If you're going to travel to Costa Rica, you need, you need to leave the United States or wherever you're from behind. And when you're here, you need to try what's here and put yourself into the Costa Rican flavor and flair. So we're going to show you a couple of things. Oh, yeah, there's Burger King's here. There's McDonald's here. But you know what? We ask you. Please, if you bring your kids down, do not take them to Burger King or McDonald's. We know how kids are and they want their burgers. They want their typical food that they know and they, they're used to. But you're bringing them to another country. Give them something from this country. Give them a little... So we're going to show you We're going to show you a couple of things. One is, is, a, is just a Costa Rican staple. And the other one that you're going to to show you is one that you may not notice on the menu, that you may not try, but we're going to show it to you. It's very popular down here, and we're going to show it to you tonight. The first one's going to be a casado, which is a typical Costa Rican dish. You oh, find you, know, that you know what that means in Spanish? What does that mean? It means, casado in Spanish means a bunch of leftovers. If you don't eat them now, you're going to... You're gonna have to eat them. <laughs> okay, well, it might mean married man. But... It means marriage. That's right. Right. <laughs> it means marriage because they married. They put all this food together, and it's like the reason for it is the food's all married together. Like I'm not sure why, but that's the meaning of it. And it's just a basic, a bunch of food put together on a plate. It comes in um, you beef, it? fish, beef, fish, or chicken, and pork, and pork. Did you say pork? I did not. <laughs> The, the other dish is a little less, cassavas are everywhere. Every place you go in Costa Rica, you'll see them. Okay, so any, any place you go. Now, any place has this next item too, but you just don't notice it on the menu, and that's tilapia, which in Spanish means, I don't know, the other white meat, chicken, something like that. It, this one's a fried tilapia. They deep fry it, and it's a whole fish from head to tail. And then just stick it in the deep fryer, deep fry it, and pop it out on your plate. You'll see it later. Hey, let's show them how what it's on the menu because they may not know. It's called tilapia. What did you say? It's called pescado and terno, which is a whole fish. I thought it was tilapia and terra. Terra. That's what I said. <laughs> you said pescado. <laughs> All right. All All right. right here. Okay, guess what? Food's here. Right here you're looking at a cascado. Cascado, sorry. But I can tell you right now, it's not actually the normal one you get. Normally there's a little few more things on there. You got you always have your rice. You always have the beans. It's missing the plantanos, which is a, like a steroided banana. This is fish, and it, this can come in chicken, pork, like we said before. It comes with some salad, but this... Usually one looks better. Yeah, usually looks better. This is actually more. This is actually kind of weak. Maybe it's cheap, and actually they are fairly cheap. But guess what? I can tell you what did come out perfect right here. Tell me about that fish. That is what's known as tilapia. I think it's dead. Yeah, it's pretty dead. That's a, that's a good observation. Nothing goes to waste on tilapia. How was your tilapia? Yummy. Very good. It looks really good. When I first saw it, I didn't think so. Whoops. When I first saw it, I didn't think it was going to be that great. After eating it, it was delicious. Now I order it all the time. <laughs> 
Now the cascado, I just cascado, cascado, cascado. It was a little weak, but the point is, it has like three or four different items on it. They have rice and beans, usually salad, plantanos, the meat, and they're usually really cheap. And you can, they're all over uh, Costa Rica. So you definitely need to try one out. Um, although not here, but I'm not going to tell you where here is. <laughs> And these you definitely got to try. I'm not sure if we told you, but the fish, fish's name was George. And uh, unfortunately, George is no longer, but he'll live on. So. so for the Costa Rica Travel Channel, have a good one, and thanks for joining us. Right, I want to say bye.